What's going on folks? Uh, today in Stu's Garage we've got a really really short video for you guys. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show this just because it's something that's really easy to do and I uh, just wanted to show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a clutch uh, pedal, what do you call it, neutral safety switch bypass. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, there's something screwy going on with my neutral safety switch. It's been going bad and um, a couple of times it's actually left me not able to start the car and uh you know that could be bad and for for many reasons so um either you can replace that switch which is probably a pain in the butt trying to track down that thing or whatever um or you could just bypass it um now if you bypass it of course you have to make sure your car is not in gear when you start it and things like that so your car doesn't take off and other stuff you still have to be a smart driver when you do this but um, this could also be used for troubleshooting if you're trying to figure out exactly what's going on and why your car is not starting. So uh, let's go ahead and get right to it. So when you get underneath your dashboard, you're going to want to follow your clutch pedal all the way up until you find, this is a really tight space, so it kind of sucks getting under here. But um, where is it? Okay, so that plastic piece that you see at the top, and there's an arrow that's going to stick to it. Um, that's the end of the clutch safety switch, and as you can see, I jerry-rigged a couple of zip ties to it. Let me see if we can get in there. Okay, I jerry-rigged a couple of zip ties to it to try and help press it down a little bit more when I was having trouble with it. Um, that didn't work, so what I ended up doing is unplugging that switch. So if you have a Fox body, you're going to unplug the wire that has three... Um, red and blue wires coming out of it um, I think on the SN95 it's got two wires I'm not sure but there's two sets of wires on this thing okay I'm gonna film like this because it makes it a little bit easier for uh, you guys to see exactly what's going on now this is my fuse panel um, I bought the car with the fuse panel right here I don't know why it's here but that's just how it is on my car uh, so anyways uh, this is the clutch pedal here you're gonna follow your clutch pedal up and actually, if, if you still can't figure it out, press your clutch pedal in. Make sure you're not on a hill, and you'll actually see the switch, um, the back of the switch moving. So let's see if we can find that on camera. It's really difficult to get you guys up in there. This is a really tight space. So um, let me try and... So you guys can see my bypass already, but let's get light in here. Okay, so this is the clutch safety switch here. And as you press it in, you'll see, you can barely see, but that white piece starts to move in and out. Anyways, uh, you want to, un there's two plugs going into it. You want to unplug the one with the least amount of wires going into it. On the Fox body, it's gonna be three red and blue wires that you see here. Um, pretty much, you unplug that. Um, the DIYs all say to use a 10 amp fuse. Honestly, I don't think it matters what kind of fuse you use. You could use a piece of wire. Uh, you could actually cut these wires and tie all three of them together. But the easiest thing to do is just to stick a fuse down in there and your bypass is complete. So there's how you bypass it. And you don't have to worry about your clutch switch going bad again, keeping your car from starting. Thanks for watching, folks. All right, folks. So the last thing I want to do in this video is provide some useful information as to why you would do a clutch bypass like what you see that I've done. Um, if you're not doing it for convenience reasons, uh, you may want to do it for troubleshooting reasons. So what was happening to me is I would put my key in, turn it to the first click, and then turn it all the way forwards for uh, starting the car, and it would do absolutely nothing. Um, the gauges didn't dim, there was no click, there was no noise, it just did absolutely nothing as if I wasn't even turning the key. Um, so that right there points to two issues, two possible issues. Um, it could have been something dealing with the starter solenoid, or it could have been what I showed you right there is the clutch switch. If you do turn your key and you hear a noise like a constant clicking or if your car tries to start and it doesn't start or if you hear a single click that's a different noise. So if you hear multiple clicks or your starter is just weak and it can't turn the car over that's something that with the starter that you want to look at. Um, if you hear a single click that's usually a telltale sign of a bad starter solenoid. But if it does absolutely nothing, you definitely want to start with your clutch uh, safety switch like what you see here. So, hope you guys uh, found something useful out of that. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.